Ladies, do not give credit where credit is not due. On Saturday night, I was invited to celebrate a gentleman's birthday with him as his date at a fine dining establishment. So I agreed and I put on a cocktail lounge dress in my highest high heels and a little bit of makeup and I met him out. We stayed in the bar for about an hour. We went early to listen to the jazz maybe socialize a little bit, get to know each other. And one of the comments he said was, I noticed you're not wearing any jewelry, no jewelry? And I said, oh, well, I'm wearing all of the jewelry that you've bought me. <laughs> he took That's two good. steps back. Yeah. Do not good. give him the credit, he is not due. He wanted me to be on his arm and show me off to everyone in the lounge area, socializing, Cringe sitting in the dining room waiting for the valet to bring the car me as his so he gets to show off all of the jewelry that he bought me and that's it my jewelry that i bought me is mine do not give him credit (laughs) he is already getting credit for my three hundred dollar cocktail dress and my eight hundred dollar heels that i purchased for myself so what? You get to wear them anytime you want. Who cares about that? Honey, it's like, this guy's an idiot for parading you around. You're an idiot for having expectations from him. It is what it is. That That's just life. God damn. You're not oversharing. You are not oversharing. Boring people came up with that. Boring people made that up. Mm-hmm. They made up oversharing because they're too boring to handle an interesting conversation. You're not oversharing. Keep sharing. I want to hear everything. I want to hear it all. No, and then I want to hear no, a little bit more. No. Make the make them make the boring people uncomfortable. No. Share. Keep up the good work, everyone. Um, no. If you have an actual brain and an IQ, you will know that uh, y- you shouldn't be really sharing that much about you. Just have some aura about you. Something mysterious. Leave her to her imagination, so she can imagine all the stuff that about you, if that makes any sense, right? So just l- let her brain do the work, so she can fantasize about who you really are. And it should come as literally no surprise to anybody on this planet that women are not wanting to have children anymore, considering the fact that the main reason for divorces nowadays is mm-hmm. lack of commitment, mm-hmm. and women are usually the ones who initiate divorces, right? Men will sit there and try to say that, oh. Women are always the one who leave relationships. You guys are the one divorcing us. You gotta be so for real right now. You know, do you know what that means? Usually they divorce because they want better options. That's it. That that relationship only happens if uh, she's happy, right? So if she leaves, for the most part, why do they leave? So you have to look at the data a bit better. You have to look at the statistics way better and just come up with an actual conclusion don't just say oh most women initiate divorce then that means the men are not good enough that's just such a flawed logic just look at the actual statistics just look at the data and why people want to get divorced in the first place and uh, you're gonna be having an answer i was with my friend last night and she said six guys want to see me tonight i'm just gonna put their names in the hat and shake it and she picked a name and she goes i'm repicking <laughs> Sorry, Dylan. Sorry for what? You just got lucky. It's like getting banned from every dating app imaginable for scamming men out of thousands of dollars. Fuck you. Dating lessons we can take away from Slavic women. Eastern mm. European women are stereotyped to be high maintenance, expensive women, and for good reason. The first lesson we can learn from them is that they expect frequent gifts from their partners. They expect jewelry, flowers, handbags, and other presents. They are vocal in the fact that they want this type of courtship from their men and they have no problem asking him for it. The second lesson is that Slavic women date for the lifestyle that a man can provide for them, not his looks. To Eastern European women, there is no such a thing as broke and cute. They expect men to take on the full financial responsibility in the relationship and have no problem walking away if he fails to do so. Another thing I particularly admire about Slavic women is that they only accept intimacy after exclusive long-term dating. They know that the longer you hold out on intimacy, the more you can get from a man. Mm-hmm. They would never accept the casual dating culture that we have here in the Western world because they understand that this only benefits the man and they get nothing out of it. Lastly, Eastern European women would never accept 50-50 relationships. Even the most successful Slavic women still wouldn't agree to dating a 50-50 man. They believe that it's the man's role to provide and they are firm on that. This is all bullshit. 
I know that because I am from that part of the world and I can tell you this. There is a small percentage of uh, women that actually are like this for the most part. Yeah, <laughs> this is just projection. It doesn't happen. They are uh, easy to get in bed. They want money and all that. They want confidence. They want all that stuff. It's not really that different from the West, but it's just it, it is way better. It is. I know. I know. It is what it is. The fact that we don't have fat pigs uh, swimming around in uh, degeneracy and also the hookup culture and the whole thing that only benefits an extremely small percentage of men like it really does you have a f only a few select males that look good for the most part and have some money around and they get all the action and everyone else gets close to zero are you thinking what i'm thinking what <laughs> i grab your number we fall in love maybe head to europe or couple kids eventually down the line but we'll see I've been talking to someone. nice to meet you i'm someone <laughs> yeah it's, i'll yeah, just grab your digits good. and uh we'll figure it out from there right i feel like i have to let you at this point i feel like i have to at this point the way she said that wow so other than that i would say you walking around talking to random people is gonna be good just uh leave alone all this uh internet uh, content and all that stuff just go out into the real world and just whatever just see for yourself how the world actually is if you're wondering is it fair to date multiple guys at once this is for you mm. i'm jasmine i share daily dating tips so follow yes. for more i was just talking to a friend about this three days ago she grew up with a religious background and now she's single and dating in her late 20s and she's yes. wondering is it okay to date multiple guys? Because no. sometimes it can feel wrong. And this deserves it a really is. honest discussion. So here's my honest feedback. There's no right or wrong way to date. Some people yes. love only dating one person at a time. Mm -hmm. Some people love experiencing multiple people. The pros of dating one person at a time is you might have more focus and this might help you if you struggle with jealousy. On the other hand, dating multiple people at once can really help you feel received, wanted, and desired by multiple people at the same time so you don't get caught up on the same person. So whatever route you choose, you will still attract your partner when you're meant to attract your partner. So this is all I have for you for now, but I hope this is helpful. This is really just toxic advice. All these females giving dating advice, they're just really ju toxic and completely, just completely alien to how people actually work it's not you're not gonna be happier just because you fuck a bunch of people at the same time especially as a woman because all you have to do is say yes you don't have to convince anyone it doesn't feel like an achievement and a prize just because you said yes to a bunch of men it actually decreases your value and your self-worth and your confidence and all that stuff and this is why you see all these women doing all the self-healing and loving myself again and finding myself yes because you let a bunch of guys in you and now you are paying the emotional damage price for that where are all the hot people i was told that there would be all these attractive singles Who and as far as i can tell i'm the best looking person here <laughs> no you're not first things first and second of all that's just a lie so don't assume like yes yeah, single men that stay single because they have options are hot okay and so do the promiscuous women but that's just a very small genetic pool unfortunately for everyone